Okay, uh, so we're going to work with inverse functions. This is the original function, and this is what they use to represent the original function, f and x. They'll usually, another way they can say what is the inverse is they'll ask, ask you what f to the power of negative 1, or essentially what the inverse of this function is. Now, f and x is just a way to write something in function notation. If we're to graph this, what takes the place of f and x, do you know? Y. Y. So or we are left with y, x squared, minus 7. Well, if I'm trying to find the inverse of this, what I want to do is I actually want to switch the places of x and y, and then reset the equation equal to y. Um. So I'm now left with x is equal to y squared minus 7. Okay, And i got to get uh, y by itself, so it becomes x plus 7 equals y squared, and then y is the root of x plus 7. So that would be the inverse function. Um, now this original function, they also asked you, is it a function? The original one is a quadratic, and it's a quadratic, I'll quickly do it for you. It's a quadratic that's uh, like that. Okay, It is a function. That's what this guy is here. This guy here is kind of like a parabola set sideways. Okay, And because it's sideways, 7 becomes a negative. So it's actually like this. Is this one a function? No. No. This is not a function because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. It crosses two points that vertical line test. So yes, function for the very first one. This guy, no function. Does that make sense? Okay. And that's essentially how you find the inverse of something. Is the square root x, is it always going to be a sideways problem? Yeah, that's the shape it tends to make. Now, sometimes they tell you to represent it as, um, we're trying to tell if it's function, sometimes they'll tell you to represent it as only the upwards one, but it is technically both. It's a, it doesn't become a function, essentially. What it okay. is.